the general parts of your brain, which you, this is your cerebrum. cerebrum. That's the top part that you think of as the thinking brain and intelligence. Okay, your cerebrum has all these bumps, the raised areas that go up and down. The raised areas are the gyri, and the dips are the sulci. Okay. Okay, and it's there to increase surface area, so you can make get a lot more neurons in here. And the two, you have two cerebral hemispheres. And they're separated by that big long crack in the middle called the longitudinal fissure. And it's a big crack. A fissure is a big crack between the two. Then you have on the back, you have your cerebellum. This is the back posterior side. These are for balance and stance. So when you start to fall backwards, your cerebellum pushes you back up. <laughs> okay. They're also referred to as the little brain <laughs> because they have two hemispheres, just like this has two hemispheres. So you have cerebellar hemispheres. This is when when spelling is really important, cerebrum and cerebellum really makes a big difference because if you put the wrong word down there, you don't get credit for it. No. Okay. Cerebrum's on cerebrum's top. Cerebrum's on top. The cerebellum is in the back here for balance. Okay. Pushing them. Okay. Now, you have down here in the lower reaches, you can look at it. Ex oh, my brain's falling apart. Externally, if you start down here, it will be your spinal cord. Your spinal cord is going to come up, and then the spinal cord runs into these two little bumps here, which are the medulla oblongata. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, the bigger bumps here is the pons. Okay. And then in this area here would be the midbrain, okay. also called the mesencephalon. So if you look at it internally, you can see this is the brain stem, then down here would be the medulla, and then the supposed bump right there is the pons. Okay. okay. And then up in this area, from the top of the pons to about here, that's the midbrain. And then we get up here into this area, which is called, this general area is the diencephalon, which we'll talk about the parts of that in a minute. Okay. So let's see, what do we learn? So, okay. 